Okay, let's do a little bit of the process of cutting. Uh, in this area, I don't need any seams. The seams are on the sides, pretty much. So, grab any pointy, sharp scissor you have. And let's do this. I found out that actually this lighty, tiny scissor uh, is working pretty good for not disturbing the the pattern of the, of the fur because you don't want to cut something straight up and kill all the little fusses in there. Um, you want to preserve the the pattern of the fabric. So this tiny little bit is actually doing a great job. Rather it's for the edge edge or rather it's for the seam. The seams are also tiny because I don't know if you have experience uh, sewing uh, teddy bears or well, hand sew. I do the seam very tiny because you will see me on the next steps sewing this. So the piece is connected, it will be completely invisible. So you see, it was just. I'm, I'm, I'm still pushing in, so I, I can kind of open the, the the hairs, but I don't really need to do that because I'm literally concentrating on the back. I'm not going all the way across like with a, a big scissor, so I don't know, but this is working pretty good. Now I'm just going to clean the excess of the first. Well, this is mostly to not make a mess. You could skip this part, but you're going to make a big mess. We're having flyaway hairs just by itself, but this helps. It helps the cause. And my trash can right beside me. It's beautiful. All the, I can see all the, I mean the tiny little hairs on there. 
I did not kill nobody on the edges. That was just perfecto. Now I forgot to do this guy here. Which, uh, no, I still don't remember how they call this. But you guys already probably know how this is called. something well they look pretty much close to it Pretty much how you saw artistic teddy bears. I mean, handmade. Yeah, artistic, handmade, completely teddy bears. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video. I don't remember how, how this point or needling is called, but it's the one that goes with the loops, I will say. I go to the loop, I go to the loop, and then. Also, low because uh, the big tendency to tangle. And again, very small stitches, I'll call it. And into the loop. I actually don't even remember how this point is called in Spanish, so. <laughs> ladder? I will say, uh, this ladder? No, ladder is for something else. Lara, I believe it's for embroidery. 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 And there. Got the bunk. Secure it close. Let it tangle in you, and I guess that's good. You're first one of those needle parts. If you have any angles or cuts, that's done first. Here I'm gonna start from the edge. It's the same. Look. I'm not designing my look there, so I'm gonna start doing the point. What this might be called ladder in the end. Let me know in the comments. It's probably about the uh, sea. Hmm. Oh, probably the same distance I live here, maybe even less than that. I will use less than that. Let me see, I can tell you that in centimeters. This is about three to four millimeters. The edge. Here I have none, but I still am getting some of it. And it's just good. Mm, 
просто здравствуй. A second now. Um, before I go ahead, I was doing a little trick on the hair because you see the hair is too dense here, and I wanted it to not be that dense in this area, so all the fur will concentrate here. So I was literally grab a comb, the scissor, and I was literally just cutting some hair off here. Patches. Random, right? Kind of uh, horizontal, yes, but kind of random still. to this area at least and thinning down the fur you might think it's leaving holes but the hair is long so no you will not leave holes when you when you comb the hair down it covers everything actually so no problem either. That's just for the sake of a more realistic look. in the lines there but it's not it, see it's not affecting the pattern is actually making it just look thin thin hair Now. This is very, very bushy and has a bit. It's very st it's thick. It's just thick, and the hair is just gonna be moving around like that. And here is a little bit more calm, like a little bit less, not bushy, as on the other side. Hey. Okay. So this is all. I uh, sew it together. Now I'm going to turn it up. So this is how it looks. This. Now I'm going to try over my shoe here. Because there might be a little a little pieces that I need to trim now to make it fit. Fully. I'm gonna pin down the 
the middle, haha, uh -huh, the middle, so I can get a better perspective on the, on the sides. And the middle. The middle, of course, is the same. How the two pieces connecting? Of course, is that? Oh shit! It's just... Okay, there we go. Now from here, I think I'm gonna have to cut a tiny bit on this side because it's kind of a little bit too much. A problem, I think. It's a little bit more in this area, actually. But it's okay, I can just trim it down to fit the shoe. Everything else? Yeah, this is a little bit more, I have to trim this. Let's see, this is gonna go all over here, 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 here. And here, it's not that bad actually. It's just a tiny little trim, like this pretty much here. Not nothing, just a tiny little piece on here. I'll just go straight because I'm not affecting really the, the pattern. You see, right on there. Plus, I want to cut it fast. Okay. Clean a little bit. Every time you, well, every time I cut fur, it's a. Uh, just a reaction, I just got clean. All right, now I have me just fabric tag. You could use also the, I have it right here, the E6000, that will be stronger and more harmful for yourself, but uh, actually I will use this because it has to go fully blue into the shoe. So probably I will use it in these edges. And the rest is going to be with the fabric tag, okay? Plus, plus, I have fur everywhere. I think I'm gonna start here. There we go. Fabric blue, here we go. It's gonna go over here. Like I said, this, this edge here, I'm going to use the E6000, just because I wanted to have a better connection there, and then everything else. It should be just fine with this fabric glue. This is the area that's going to get more stress, so... The wearing stress, most likely. Sock in paint. There we go. Over. Trying to get the middle part right in there. I don't want to get that wrong. I can come back and do the little edges, no problem. The thing is, I want it in the right place. I'll brush a little bit there. I will totally come back and do the little edges. Okay, let's do this side first, I guess. Alright. 
tiny bit here. Use these sticks. Perfect tool. Great. The more the merrier, actually, because it will help the bonding. Make sure everything is connected and two holes on here. and fine. pretty stressing when trying to wear this costume, this shoe. So it should be stronger. Over here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna keep gluing it as I go. Fit 
all on there. Gonna make sure he's very well bonded. And this is gonna take a little bit to dry. Even this one can take a half hour. I believe the A6000 can take a little bit also, but that's pretty much. And then I just put everything in place. You can use a brush, you can use a toothbrush. Make really, really sure that these inner parts are well. You see, help me to get a little, little curvature there. That's pretty cool. dry before I even try it. <laughs> okay. How do you like? Oh, well, of course you will get to see this in action. But thank you for watching anyway. Alright? I hope you have fun with this tutorial. Take care.